Business Marketing Technology Pathway Students, the Freshman Multimedia Class. It's me, Mr. Cheney, with another brilliant tutorial. This is a two-part tutorial for kinetic typography, and part one is going to be how to actually get the text onto the slide, and part two will be the movement or the animation, the kinetic part, so that it will all be put together as one cohesive little animation video. So, once we're in Microsoft PowerPoint, it's like the burnt orange reddish icon on your desktop. So if you go over here for you guys, I believe it's on your desktop, me, not so much. And I'm going to make a new slide. I'm gonna make it a blank slide. If yours isn't blank like this, what you can do is go to layout right here and actually make it blank. So, what I've done is on the app, on the Google Classroom assignment is I put these directions for you that you can download and put on your slide as you work. So, or you can do a split screen. It's up to you. Um, so what I could do is just kind of copy this image and go to my PowerPoint and paste it real quick here. Oops, that's not going to work. Let's do the screenshot then. So I'll do one of these, or actually let's save it as an image like that. So we're going to save as an image on the desktop, kinetic energy one, good. Go back, insert the picture, and it is right there. So now I'm going to have my directions to work with. So I'll just kind of put it in the corner here as I'm working. And it's got the directions for each type that I need to do. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with step by step. So that is inserting a text box. And I'm going to go caps lock for all this. So step by dash step. And then it says that I need to be Berlin Sands FB Demi, so I'm going to change it up here. These are all in alphabetical order, so I'll go down Berlin Sands FB Demi right there. Size is going to be 72. Press enter. If it's not on one line, I can stretch it out like this. And now I've got my step by step part of it. Moving on to guide. Guide is going to be Arial Black 81. So I'm going to do a little shortcut. I could go up and do insert text box again. Or what I could do, clicking on the line, go control C then V to copy paste. Highlight this. Go to guide. This one you can change the color. So I'm going to change my color to kind of a blue color like this. I'm going to change it to Arial Black 81. So Arial is A R I L, Arial Black. Click in here, 81. Notice if you do the pull down menu, there's no 81. There's 72, 80, and then 88. So you have to actually go in here and type 81 to get your 81. So that's step by step and guide. Let's go to the word for. So I can do control V again and highlight this. And I want, I'm going to go lowercase for four. Kind of move it into position right there. I'm going to make mine orange. And it says Arial rounded MT bold 54. So Arial rounded MT bold right there. And 54 right here. Press enter. And I've got that. Let's go to kinetic. So control V to paste. Kind of move it over here. I might need to move a few things around so it all fits. So let's do that. So I got that. Let's keep that there. Flip this over. Kinetic's going to be a little smaller than step by step, so that's fine. So caps lock again. Kinetic. Move that over. And they want Myriad Pro condensed. MYR goes way down here. MY. Myriad Pro condensed right there. It says 118. Okay, I'm going to change that to change that color as well. 
So the only so step by step and typography are going to be black. You can change the colors for guide and kinetic and for. So we've got that. So kinetic. One last one, typography. So control V one more time. Kind of get it down into position over here. And I'm going to type typography like so. And it's Calibri Body 50. So Calibri. C A L I um, Calibri body it doesn't say Calibri body, so I'm just going to go with the regular Calibri and we're going to change it to 50 and press enter. And now we have the beginnings of our kinetic typography step by step, the right font, the right size, guide. Same thing for kinetic typography. We've got our things. So now we can click on our directions, get rid of it, and now we're ready to do our animations part, which will be tutorial number two attached to the assignment. Head over there next. I'll see you there.